especially if they had a, a musical background, you know, to um, preserve those abilities because they've been a lifetime of ability. And because music is a lot different from the higher end um, mental processing that many people with, with a stroke, either people who have cognitive loss related to traumatic brain injury or, or Alzheimer's disease, automatic aspects of music, the, the rhythm and the timing, the overlearned songs that they've played all their lives, all of those have become so familiar to them, so familiar. Because of that flow, because of that automatic aspect, that if we keep those functional aspects alive and, and um, intensely part of somebody's life, we can maintain function for that's a longer what, period of time. I that's mean, that's why I'm hoping Glenn Bennett. Well, that's you know, why we're excited and, for and you to and see what's going on. And the fact that he's doing, on. that he's actually motivated. I mean, he's a brilliant guy. and Obviously, um, has a good sense of himself to be able to be out there publicly and to play and to take that chance. Because if he continues to play every day, if he keeps that all together, you know, hopefully that'll maintain as much functionality for a longer pe period of time. I, I, you know, you think about Frank Sinatra, another artist who unfortunately had problems, and, and their musicianship up until the end was absolutely extraordinary. Bad. Yeah, and they could always, always work around it too, you know, like filling in lyrics and, and things right. like that, but doing it so well because the musicianship was so well preserved.